A very good evening to you, and of course, you're welcome. Welcome to the show, Unka, only on Afia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebo, and yes, it is finally Friday. I don't know about you, but I've been counting down till Friday, and now here we are. What a fantastic day. Friday is the best day of the week. I don't know about you, but I feel that way. And of course, not forgetting that Afia TV plans to curate what I like to call the Christmas magical experience. I'm talking about every event that will be happening this Christmas. Afia TV definitely has a hold on it from the Ophala to uh, the homecoming, uh, to a jazz festival, to so many events. And if you're out there outside of the country, somewhere in another state, and you're looking forward to coming back home, to having the most fun that you would ever have in a very long time, well, this is the time to queue in. And of course, if you're a vendor, an event planner, or an artist, and you want to be a part of this, all you have to do is go to our website at www.afiatv.net to connect. And of course, as always, we have so much in store for you. But right before that, I need to talk about um, this backlash. So, I don't know, some days I feel different. There are days I feel a certain way, and there are days I want to look a certain way, right? So, um, of course, the most fantastic makeup artist, I'm talking about Chisom, we call her official shine on right here, decided to style me this way. And I could see from the mirror that I was looking like a Victorian model. I was looking like someone from the Victorian era, you know, but outside the backlash, outside looking like old school Friday, outside, because a lot of people told me that. Outside of looking of all of that, one thing that gives me joy is something a colleague of mine well said tonight, and she says, you do look like those people from the Victorian era, but they used to have a lot of money. So I, I don't care about what anybody says again. I feel like a bag of money tonight, and I'm definitely having fun while doing so. We'll go on a quick break. When we do come back, I will be introducing my very fantastic guest. Don't go anywhere, Nka. We'll be right back. You're welcome back to Nka Only on Afia TV. I am Chimoy Bulama Ashebo. I think I should give myself a Victorian name. So let's, let's, take a let's talk about this. Victorian names. Um, Angela, no, Queen Charlotte. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's befitting. It's just the crown that is missing. But I left it at home, so it does definitely align. Well, joining us tonight is a superstar. Of course, I'm sure you already know that on the show. We only have superstars right here in our couch. And I always give backstory, so I definitely will give a backstory to this individual. Um, I was going through his social media today and checking out his songs. I was like, okay, not bad, not bad. I saw a song where he was begging a girl, please don't go, please don't leave me. <laughs> and that song where he was prophesying, and I think that's the best song for me. It's called Jara, where he was saying, Sakba will not see him. I don't know about you, but I did claim it. That Sakba will not see me in the year 2024, because I don't know about you, I am definitely away from 2023 on to 2024. Joining us tonight is no other than the one and only codename Decca. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Thank you for having me. So when I saw or when I heard you sing, yeah. um, when you talked about codename Decca, you know the first thing that came to mind? What? I'd like you to guess. Uh, punching is so the punching. No, code name, um, code name kid, kid next, next door. door. I'm like, this guy has to be a millennial because <laughs> I don't get it. I can't remember the last time someone said code name. I was thinking about number one, number two, <laughs> and it just brought back so many memories, you know. So it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. But all my enemies think I've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. I'm still doing my counter. I'm still counting down until Christmas. And yes, I don't know about you, it's 52 more days until Christmas, and it's 58 days until we say goodbye to 2023. Fun times ahead, and I'm sure you are expectant as much as I am. But yes, it's a pleasure to have you once again. Yeah, thank so you. it's important for us to start off with the foundation okay. of um, where you did grow up, schools you attended, primary, secondary school. I'm sure you're wondering why. It kind of gives us a sense of who you are and who you started off as. Okay. So, yeah, where you did grow up, um, schools you attended, and how it led you to doing music, I'm very much interested because half of the time, people who have had here didn't study what they're doing right now. Yeah. Um, I myself, I'm a living testimony to that. So, it's rather interesting just sitting down every night 
having someone tell you different stories and you're like, ah, I called it. But I think <laughs> I'm calling it for you already. But before I go any further, let's talk about your journey so far. And of course, from the foundation, the beginning of all of this, where you did grow up, primary, secondary, and of course, how it's led you to where you are. Okay, um, I'm from Anambra State. I grew up in Enugu State. I was, I grew up and I was bred in Enugu State. Where in Enugu State? Yeah, here, in Jerry. In Jerry. So you're Jerry, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my primary school, my primary school, I was shifting a lot. I went to like four different Why? primary schools. Why? There are two things. You don't need to play too much or you're troublesome. Choose one. I play too much. <laughs> I just played too much. I wasn't serious in first, second school, so the third one they had to make me serious. Okay. Yeah, I went to Good Hope Star School. I went to Justin Thomas, and I went to school for Infant Jesus and Mary. You yeah. went to good schools. Thank you. In my secondary school, I, w I did it. I was a boarder in secondary school. I did it in BOJ, Chance Kulu Bishop Utsubele Junior. Ah, ah, you're one of the BOJ boys. Yeah. <laughs> I actually pass through there every day. <laughs> That's fun times, fun times. So. So afterwards, what next? What did you study in university? What in university, I went to um, Renaissance University. It was, I did computer science in school. Excuse me? <laughs> what was your plan going into university, choosing to study a course like computer science? I would imagine that you would think of something different and not music. How? Well, I wanted to enter UNN. I wanted to be a doctor. So, wow, you want to be, wow. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really pass the, the jump. I didn't reach the score. So they now took me to Renaissance, a private school, and I had to pick which course I wanted. So what courses there. did you have to pick from? At that moment, there were like six options. Hmm, what were they? Communication, mm -hmm. computer you're, science. You obviously rejected the outline of work, but go on. <laughs> Mass communication, um, computer science, microbiology, Business administration and you know history. They are just different courses. So out of all of them, I just read computer science. Why? Because you play FIFA or you play PS. On the laptop. <laughs> I like your honesty. I respect <laughs> you. Respect. I respect you for your honesty. <laughs> so after you got the laptop, what did you do with it? Downloaded like FIFA, you know, some games. Nice. Uh, that's mad fun because they bought the latest laptop that time. So I was very happy, you know. I'm sure you gave them the specification saying this is what they say we should buy. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I told them, they got the laptop, you know, downloaded games, just had fun. Then later I said coding. Hmm. Yeah, I said coding. In school? Mm -hmm. You and still code till now? Yeah, I still code from time to time, you know. Well, that's fantastic. So after school, where did you serve? After school, I served in Ondo State. That's where I went to camp. And you came back I home. Back no, 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 <laughs> let's talk about that. I mean, I had someone yesterday that served in, I think, Kwara, and he had to come back. So let's talk about you for a little bit. So how was it serving in Ondo State? Did you enjoy the Yamala and Iwedu? How was the experience? Because I know I see it's all about national integration, and you people that like to come back home, I don't understand. <laughs> I can't relate. But yes, talk to us a little bit about your experience in Ondo. And the Did place, they have any impact it, on it you? Was, it was surreal, you know. I really loved everything that happened in the environment. How would you love it? Was, it? it was a new experience for me. Three weeks is the peak of NYC, <laughs> so is it is enough to love it? Yeah, it was a new experience, meeting new people. I really had good friends that I still talk to now, hmm. you know. I did a lot of things I don't usually do. Like? Mm, there's a place called Mami. Mm -hmm. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like those core members are very active in Mami? That's I mean, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting from what you're saying right now. Like, you were very active in Mami. No, it's not like that. Though. It's like what? It's not like They're that. calling to go for parade, you're active in Mami. They're calling to come for <laughs> social night, you're active in Mami. So how was it? It was very nice, you know. In Mami, everybody's active, everybody's just... Did you participate in any of the games? What platoon were you in? I'm platoon 5. I was in platoon 5. That, they used I, to call that platoon the only platoon in my time. But anyways, <laughs> um, did you participate in anything? I just marched. I was participating in marching. They wanted me to do Mr. Macho, but I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not Macho. Uh, then volleyball, just played one or two times then. You're active? 
Mm -hmm. At least I give you that. You tried. I tried. You're not just active in mommy. Yeah. <laughs> You're active in other aspects. Mm -hmm. You did try. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you came back to Enuku, mm -hmm. when did you decide that, you know what, music is the thing I should be doing, music is what I should be looking at? Well, it's funny because I graduated um, 2019 from school. So when I graduated, I realized that, because I used to code, and I realized that coding to me was boring. It's not something I like doing all the time. I don't have fun when I'm coding. Mm. You know? But when I was in school, that time I used to freestyle a lot, and I could freestyle for like six hours, just be going, just be freestyling. So, I like this place you have taken me to. You know? So I just saw that. That's why I love doing You know, I can mm. go hours doing it, and I won't feel it. But once I start coding, I'll be like, ah, how long have I been coding, you know? Before we go any further, let's do the freestyle. Since it's something that gives you joy, me, I want you to be happy on this show. Mm -hmm. So I want you to be joyful. So I'd like you to freestyle for us right now. You're yeah, Nafia TV, a beautiful space with artwork, beautiful and serene environment with lovely people. Hmm, what will I sing, innit? Let me sing one of my songs. I don't know if it's the one I'll perform, though, but... OK. Mm. I said, I tell him, Manjara, the boy bad past Tony Montana. I know like stress, like my nigga Machala. I they also like they pray, make a hammer. Mm -hmm. Sapa, God forbid, say I go see Sapa, see no mamba. We go give ten yawa. I want to see Peru down the para. Chara. Mm -hmm. I like tea. Out of everything I said, the only thing that I, I say, mm, this is Sapa, God forbid. I, I even <laughs> had to do like this. Like, God forbid, Sapa. All right, thank you so much for that. Okay, so when you discovered this, when you got back and, you know, you discovered that this gives you so much joy, what was the first thing you did? Did you go into the studio? Did you meet up with some friends? Saying, you know what, I love to do this. Let's do something together. What decision did you take at that point? Well, first thing I did was open a distro kid account. That is what you, that is the account you open to distribute your songs to all platforms. So that's what I did. I opened a distro kid account, then from then, I went to the studio to record a song so I could post on the account so it to be active. So yeah, that's what I did, you know. Did a song, posted it. And the first song, it started my career, you know. 2020, that's when I posted my first song. When was, what was the title of your first song? Cry No More. Ah, uh, who were you talking to? What was the inspiration between Cry No More? <sighs> it was deep, 2019, 2020. Anybody was, break your heart and you're was, telling yourself, Decca cry no more. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through a lot, going through a lot. Too many things were happening that year. I wasn't really understanding. So sometimes I actually cry, you know. So yeah. I, when I wrote that song, I, from this day, I'll cry no more. That is what I say in my head. I won't cry again, you know. I'll face everything. So yeah. that was the inspiration for the song. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, that's everybody cries from time to time. We come out doing hard guy, hard guy. But there are times in our lives where we just wish things were different. And, of course, the most important thing is to go through those feelings and not stay there. Come out victorious and decide, just like you sang, to cry no more. Yeah. Okay, so after you opened the distributing platforms and streaming platforms, um, did you go... Okay, so you released the song Cry No More. How was the feedback? It was crazy, you know. It was very crazy. Everybody reposting, liking, commenting, saying it was hard. Because, I mean, I wasn't really feeling it like that. I wasn't really, but it's, it's just something that, you know, I felt. So I was like, okay, if I feel it, maybe they'll feel it. But after a while, I, I won't feel it again. But when I posted, everyone was like, ah, crazy, crazy. I said getting followers, people from nowhere texting me like, bro, your song is hard. So I was really happy. It made me to know that, yeah, I can do this and I can, I should post more, you know. I'm very much interested in finding out the year you sang, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is it not one of your songs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about the year you sang, please. Yeah, that was 2021. You know, I told you 2019, 2020, they were a bit rocky. Yeah. At 2021, I started finding, you know, I was happy. Finding Things, love. Yeah, I was with a girl at the moment, at the time, you know. Yeah. You know, we had something going on. And then sometimes our relationship would become rocky. It was something, something. So I just. I was thinking of her when I was writing this yeah, song. You're a very romantic man. Because, <laughs> because it's, so people don't understand what I'm saying. 
sing, I would like you to just give us a little snippet of please. So people know how romantic, people can see how romantic you are. And perhaps you're not in a relationship, it would definitely help sell your market. So um, I'd like you to just do a little bit of please for us so people can listen to. Baby, you're my melody, you're my energy, symphony. Baby, you got me sipping Hennessy, you're my remedy. Baby, girl, I'm begging, please. Baby, girl, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Oh, this is how you say chimo. <laughs> <laughs> this love is not a love in Enugu, it's a love in Tokyo. <laughs> so did she finally go? Uh... She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> After this kind of melodious song, I thought I'm here, please. <laughs> so we need to go on a quick break right now. When we do come back, I think you'll be sh telling us more about this relationship and this person that left after begging her, please don't go anywhere. Nka. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, Nka, only on Afia TV. I am JBA Jimai Blama. Ashebu, hmm, I hope I, I should not forget my husband's name today. Every sometimes I do forget it. And it's very weird, you know, when I get home, it's like, you forgot my name today. I'm like, sorry. So, yes, my name is Jumai Bulama Ashebu. And I think for tonight, I'm Queen Charlotte. If you watch Bridgerton, you definitely understand what I'm talking about. But I have Batman Derek, hmm, what is it, Derek? Batman Derek right here. Deca, not Derek. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm thinking about maybe your name should be Derek. Anyways, Deca, like a deck of cards. Did you think of that, that about that when you were giving yourself this name? What inspired the name Deca? Deck of cards, code name, kid next door. <laughs> I don't know. Deca, because uh, I had, uh, I had a, 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 another nickname. What? But... What's, your, what's the other nickname? Talk to mm. us now. Speak your truth. Speak <sighs> it. Don't worry. People will be still be calling you Deca. Don't worry. I don't mean it. I don't. That year, Drake just came out, and I really talked with Drake so much. I called myself Drake. <laughs> You're calling yourself Drake. <laughs> I called myself Drake. So the one of my guys just came here like, what's the name? Like Drake. And this laugh he gave me, I was like, nah, nah. I need to change that name, I need to change that name. So, Deca, because me, I'm a creative person. I like drawing, I like doing, I like painting, you know? So I just brought out my favorite letters together. Yes, what are your favorite letters? I'm connecting a name with it. So, I came up with Deca. That's how it just came up, you know? Favorite name, Deca. Hmm. Rather interesting, if I do say so myself. But right now, um, let us talk about the please song. Let's go back there. <laughs> um, it's important, you know, there are various aspects to an artist's life. There is the creative aspect. There is the business aspect. And there is the love aspect. <laughs> so let's talk about the love aspect. Of course, from your song, please, we already know that you're a hopeless romantic or hopeful romantic, whichever you choose. So how's it been with the ladies since she started singing? Because I know one thing about women. Women love men who can sing. Women love guys that are out there. Yeah. And when you're an artist, there's that attention that tends to come with the music, with the fame, with everything. So let's talk about the female attention you have been getting since you started music, and how you've been able to navigate. And of course, are you also in a relationship? So you send a shout out to that special someone. Uh, man, the, my relationships here. The girls, since I started singing, you know, even before I started singing, I used to have this, I don't know this. Yeah, if I'm man, yeah, if I'm man. You so see I... the dimples, oh, <laughs> very fine. Yeah, so I, I talk to girls, you know, they talk to me too. I just realized, you know, in this world, there are a lot of pretty girls out there. And some girls are not meant to be in a relationship with you sometimes. They're meant to be your friends, you know? True. So I just, I don't really even look at the body or the face or anything. I really try to talk to you and see what's up there, how intellectual you are, and whether we fit, whether we can 
stay in a place for a long time together. So, you know, that's what I look for in women. So they always talk to me, they chat with me, but I don't really go close. I don't really respond immediately. I just give them that um, attention that they're looking for. So they won't feel like something is happening. Until maybe I, I see you, maybe something is, I really like this one in particular. I'll be like, okay, let me talk to her, see if she's the kind of person I rock with and stuff like that. Mm. So if she is, you know, I really connect. And if she's not, I just really try and keep it on that friend mm. level. Mm. Yeah, right now, I'm, I'm with someone. Beautiful. See, yeah. I like when people are honest. And so send the special, I'm sure she's watching right now. Send a special shout out to Anna. Yeah, we saw her, we are working things out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, yeah, she, she's videoing me right there. So. Oh, we don't know her name, or you don't want to give us her name. Or just, uh, send a shout out. To, see, you are romantic somebody already. You can't come and be pretending that you're not. So send a special shout out from your heart to this person. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> shout out to you, my love. Uh -huh. <laughs> People don't know who is the you that you're talking about. Okay, um, her name is her name is Theodora. Mm. Theodora, that is her name. Theo, baby. Onyechi. Onyechi, baby. So I'm shouting out to you. Shouting mm. out to you. I love you. Respecting oh. it. Oh no, this love is unbreakable. Oh, I feel it. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> well, anyways, I mean that's fantastic. I'm super happy for you that you're in love. There's nothing as amazing as being in love. Um, my colleague that's looking at me right there cannot relate, so I'm definitely happy for you. But now, let us do something right before we go on. There's something we do on the show, and um, we tend to celebrate our guests right here on the program. It's called Our Very Own Way of Celebrating You. Nka, special welcome. So right now, I would like us to celebrate specially Deca right here on the program. What are you expecting? A drink? <laughs> I don't know. That's don't how know. we welcome you. So how do you look at us? That we like to drink here? Yeah. Take Dude. another guess. <sighs> Studio equipment as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with a ribbon. <laughs> but I'd like us to celebrate Deca right now and uh, show him how much he means to us. Yeah, so that's you. Yeah. That's you right there. Lovely, lovely photo. Really funky. <laughs> Where is this? This, is, this place is very nice. Yeah, Voodoo Lounge, isn't it? Oh, nice. Love. When was this? That's me. No, when was the photo? Oh, it's taken? my friend's house. Shout out to Zex Vibes, isn't it? What year was it take? 2021, yeah. Nice. So you have always been, you always made your hair. You always, that's nice. Oh, thank you. That's my guy. He does music too. That's nice. <laughs> How do you guys get this one? Oh. Well, my producer is good. Shout out to G-Song. <laughs> it's good. All right, so this is our very own way of saying that we appreciate, oh, this is so lovely. It's our very own way of saying we appreciate you and to remind you of how far you've come to tell you that the best is yet to come. Of course, we're also on the sidelines rooting for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, so let's talk about how it has been doing music for a while, talking about challenges um, you encountered when you first started off music. And of course, um, are you still facing those challenges right now? Um, at first, you know, the challenge was getting money you know, to go to the studio to make music because you have to pay for the beats, you have to pay the producer, you know, and it's not, it's not cheap, it's expensive. So that was my first challenge, you know, getting money to support myself. Now, I don't have problems making music, but I need to make videos now. There are a lot of things that 
I need to start doing now. So there are a lot that comes with the music, both promotion, you know. There are a lot of things that only I can't do alone. I need a team now, you know, to, for A and R promotions, different things all together. And also the support I was getting back then is not as heavy as now. You know, sometimes if people, if you don't really drop that often or if people get out of the sound, they tend to just stop reposting, liking, commenting. They just, I see finish, you know, they see you finish. So, you know, it hasn't been easy. And once you do a good sound, a good song, you have to, the next song, you have to top it, you know? You have to make it better. And if it's not better, the crowd, you know, they won't really love what you're doing. So making a better sound, you know, challenging yourself to make something crazier than what you've already made is also not easy. You have to do a lot of things, inspiration, go places, you know, get inspired. So I think, yeah, the challenges are just monetary challenges and also support from people. But we are getting through with yeah, getting by. Definitely. And there's something you said that struck me. Um, while I don't even see that safe finish, I feel people's attention span is very short these days. Even with songs that are popping, you have a song come out, let's say a David Joe, just an example. Maybe okay, let's start with flavor. You have a flavor song come out now and it's popping. When a David Joe song comes out, you see people's attention swift to the other song that's topping the chart. And I feel that's just it with people and of course songs, which is why artists go out of their way to try to drop something better than just like what you said, than the last single they drop. But of course, uh, that's the entertainment sector for you. But now let's bring you back home to the okay. Southeast. Um, what would you say is our biggest challenge? Because over time, uh, we've been compared to Lagos, Abuja, Katakut, because we have lots of amazing, talented individuals right here, talking yeah. about producers, talking about artists. We have lots of them who are talented here. But the challenge has been exporting what we have here to the world. Yeah. We just have a few of that, and talking about the likes of Phenom, talking about the likes of Flavor, and we need more. So what would you say is holding us back from really achieving our full potential? I think, um, you know, we just need more exposure. More exposure, like Afia TV, for example. We need more Afia TVs, more places that we can showcase talents around and show people that, yeah, these people are really good. And also, we need more places to host shows because I think Enigo is small. We are still bringing up new places and things like that. But apart from these two, I think we are really doing a good job because of recent, we have started um, doing more shows and calling more artists to perform, yeah. which is what we are talking about before, and it's happening now, so I'm happy about that. And, you know, Afia TV is bringing out artists now, exposing us, so I'm really happy about that too. I think it's just these factors that we need to work on. There's another factor I'd like to bring to the limelight, and over time, people have said that um, the OGs who have been in the game are not interested in carrying along fast-rising artists right here in the South is. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I've heard about that. Um, or strife in the industry saying we don't love ourselves. If not, if one person is up there, we need to try to raise the person up. You know, these OGs, the thing about them is you need to pay. It's not like they'll call you for it. You can't just call them for a future just like that. They'll call a certain amount, and it might be too much for an upcoming artist. You know, it's not easy to pay that kind of money. But that's what I think it is, you know? Paying such amount, they don't really do free stuff for you. They don't really carry along and say, okay, let's just, you really need to do something. But if you have the money and I think you give them, they'll carry along. I haven't really had a problem with, because I know I've, I've worked with Jerick, you know? It's, there's no real problem. You just have to, just once you pay money, you know, link up, everything is really, yeah. so, so some people are of the opinion that I mean, we're all from the Southeast. We're a nation, we're a movement, and we have one agenda, which is to kind of get people to start vibing to the music we have here. I say this because 
I've noticed something in the South is we have a huge hip hop culture right here that I don't think exists anywhere else in Nigeria. I'm talking about the Igbo rap, I'm talking about the indigenous music in different styles and different genres. And you see people, you know, trying out different things out of the ordinary, yeah. out of what we know as music, out of just the normal average Afro bits. And you know what? People are like, I don't need to pay. I don't, I shouldn't have to pay for you, my one name, my brother, to push me further, to take me to at least just give me a step, give me a pop. Because they like comparing us to the Southwest where they say, oh, they, they use the likes of Olamide, saying, oh, Olamide did this, and when he saw this, he took this person up, and when that person took up, we, if we continue taking each other up, I mean, we'll definitely be bigger and better. Yeah, I will lie, the, the, the Yorubas, you know, they, they are more, they really bring up each other. They do it more than us. We don't really, we don't really do it like that, unless there's something involved, you know? I really think, you know, the OGs out there, they should, you know, bring us up without anything because they know if it really pops for us and it will actually pop for them too. If it happens, something good for me, it will be good for you. So I think they should actually just, you know, bring up the youngins because we have talent and we are many. We are legion. We can really do things. We can break it out there. Okay. Just little support, yeah. Finally, what, what message do you have for the government? It's important that we talk about the government here because in one way or the other, the government has a role to play in the entertainment industry in terms, you talked about funding, saying that it was hard. Of course, there's a lot the government can do to somewhat uh, interest um, investors who mm -hmm. want to come to invest in the entertainment sector right here in the Southeast. So if you were to advise the government on what to do for the entertainment industry in the Southeast, we have new governors right now, and of course, we're expecting to have another one next week, Saturday. What would you say to them? I tell them to bring our money, you know, to fund our shows, to just bring our shows here and there so they can be calling us artists, upcoming artists, to be performing and showing our talents there. I think the government should involve in actually bring money out for entertainment, not just, you know, constructive or what you are doing right now. I think they should actually still focus on the music because in Lagos and everything, they, they actually do support the music. They actually, the government actually does pay and people pay money. So I think the government should actually emulate that and start doing it here in Enugu. All right, there you have it. Um, let's start from the Enugu State Government. Well, Deka is saying that you should emulate uh, other parts of the country and do more for the entertainment industry in terms of funding, in terms of support, and in terms of exposure. It would definitely help the entertainment ecosystem right here in the Southeast grow, be better, and bring back funds. It is very, very, um, you know, viable. It's a very viable business. It's very rewarding, and it's something definitely to look into. One final break, guys. When we do come back, we will be moving on to the game segment. Don't go anywhere, Nka. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Nka, only on Afia TV. I am Jumai Balama Ashebo. I'm still here with the one and only superstar, Dekka. And yes, we've been talking about his career, talking about his love life, and of course, his advice to the government, what he thinks the government can do for the entertainment sector, starting off from home, where we are, which is the Southeast, and of course, moving on. But now it's time for the game segment. It's pretty simple, Decker. I ask you a question. You choose not to answer, take a sip of my coffee. It's an easy way out, and I don't like it, because you, you should answer these questions. You are easy. But anyways, let's come back. All right, so we're starting off with the rates from best to worst segment. Okay. Okay. So we have the MCs now. Right? From best to worst, this MCs. We have Hugo P. Hugo P. We have Latino Perico. Latino. We have Max Swags. We have Jerick. And we have Quincy. <sighs> Man, that's crazy, isn't it? Yes, mad. <sighs> Very easy question. Well, do you want to call the names again? I'll just, I think I, I know the names. Yes. Hugo P, Latino Perico, Max Swags, Jerick, Quincy. So who's your number one? So I'll give um, Latino Perico. Number one, yeah. okay. Number two? I'll give it to Jerick. 
Jerick, number three. I give it to Quincy. Number to four. Quincy. Number four, Hugo P. Give ah. it to Hugo P. Number five, Max Fox. Sorry, my G, sorry. Yeah? <laughs> Party animals, you see why you need to come on the show if you have not come. Because we need to talk about things like this. He said you are the last on his list. I don't know why. Oh. Anyways, Max, so I'm sure his fans, party animals fans, they are looking at you like this. Don't worry, I'll catch you on social media. That's what they are doing right now, just so you know. All right, moving on, still on the rate game segment. Right from best to worst, this artist. We have Nami, we have Purple Boy, we have Cho. And we have Jail Wheels. I give it um, number one. I give mm -hmm. Purple Boy. Purple Boy. Whiskey. Then I, I give um, Cho, number two. And I was so broke. Yeah. I, I, I give um, Jail Wheels three. Row Boy. Then Nami. Wow. Nami. This is supposed to be a friend, but yet he does this to you. No problem. <laughs> That's OK. Such is life. Finally, on this segment, rate right from best to worst, this producers. We have Nami, again. Let's see what will happen here. We have Nameless. We have Ice Beats. We have Enap. We have KZ Clef. Hmm. hmm. You have an option to take a sip of my coffee meal, my drink. Uh, I'll take a sip. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just gave you the easy way out. Enjoy, enjoy. Smile for the camera, though. Smile. <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the, the rapid fire question, and this is the final uh, question before we move on to impressions. Are you ready? Ask mm -hmm. you a question. You don't stop to think you give me an answer. All right. All right. Where is the best place to live in the southeast? Enugu or where? Enugu. Egusi or Enugu? Egusi. You're posting. Hmm. Abacha or pizza? Abacha. Take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. Uh, uh, you pause. You're not supposed to pause. You're supposed to give me a rapid fire reply. All right. You are, it seems like you're enjoying that. The way you're sipping it, we are not even. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Suit or traditional? Suit. Clubbing or sleeping? Sleeping. Call or text? Text. Meet 30 women or meet 40 women? Four is in it. <laughs> mm, light skinned women or dark skinned women? Light skinned. I see where you're pointing. <laughs> Loyalty or respect? Loyalty, man. All right. So finally, who would you say is your favorite artist of all time? Of all time? Of all time. I'll just call this artist because he's dead, so he's out of respect. And I'll call two names. I'll call Michael Jackson and I'll call XXX Tentation. Okay, so pick one. Michael, which is the greatest of all time, isn't it? Beautiful. The reason I ask that question is because you have to do a 20-second impression of Michael uh, singing his song for 20 seconds. Oh, which song did I sing? There are so many songs. <laughs> hmm. You don't have the option to drink, just so you know. If I, you don't... I have if, the option. No, you don't. You don't dance or you... Okay. There's a song, guys. Yeah. My life. <laughs> I'll use it. Never been the same. Scale you what you came and changed. The way I walk, the way I talk, that is not the same. Together with the way I feel for you. You are changing the song. That's not the song you told. The way I walk, the way you talk, mm -hmm. I cannot explain. Seems So Jasmine will be very proud, don't worry, wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, special thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Such a pleasure. Um, your social media ha handles so people can follow you on social it's media. Deca.x, Deca, D-E-C-K-A-R dot X. Okay. Instagram, Twitter, 
Yeah, both the, of them, same thing. Where can people go stream your songs? Everywhere. She's everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Audio Map, Boom Play. Don't play, you know, it's everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And yes. yes, on that very fantastic note, rocking your world, we say goodbye. As always, do well to follow us on all our social media platforms at Afia TV Official. But not forgetting that Afia TV presents Afia Homecoming, where we plan to make your Christmas magical. All you have to do is go to our website at www.afiatv.net for more information on how you can be part of the Afia Homecoming, where we have a lot of curated events just prepared and created specially for you. Also, I'll need you to keep a date with the beautiful, amazing Grace Ajay for news tonight by 9 p.m. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu saying, see you next week and have a fantastic weekend.